Hey, what's up? Go to tpublic.com, user mo diggity, and check out all my merch. I got all sorts of stuff you'll like. Also, go to fadegrips.store and put promo code mo diggity in to save 15% off your total purchases. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell, yep. to, the, hell to the yeah, yo. All right, then. Let me go ahead. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Yeah, yo, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo. Yeah, 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 yo. Anyway, <laughs> let me go. Oh, that's great for, that's great for podcasts. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> let me go ahead and do the intro. And a one, and a two, and skidly doodly doo. Welcome to the MoCast, everybody. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. Today, we're talking about DOA games, and I'm also going to talk about Google Stadia because I'm really pissed off about that because I, I was super, super hyped for the idea and the concept, the uh, the initial push and the hype for that for that little uh, uh, idea from Google, but it is just crashed and fucking burned. And we're going to get that to a little bit, but joining us today is our guest, uh, Ether. Uh, go ahead and say hi. Greetings. Ah, that was that was very, very loud in my ears. Oh, oh that was so loud. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm just fucking with you. I'm sorry, is this better? Uh, oh, yeah, much, much better, much better, much better. And, of course, my two co-hosts, uh, the one, the only, Riley Brooks. Hey! And, of course, the wonderful and talented, the awesome, Robin. Say hi, Robin. Best for last. What's up? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, boy, man, there is, it's a bit of a slow, uh, like, well, slow week for everyone, unless you're watching the fucking in impeachment deposition, which basically boils down to, I don't remember, I don't recall, or it's my opinion, and it just made me want to beat my fucking head up against the goddamn desk and initially I, I wanted to talk about it but I tried watching some today and I almost fell straight the fuck asleep right in my damn chair and I had just woken up so if you're in high school it's a great thing to put in your ear pods so you can lip and sleep in class with us too mm -hmm. and you can just say no I'm being political oh god bless America herder and all that stuff but this is educational I'm watching a a piece of American history. It's Mr. not history Jones. yet. It's not. It yeah, it's from. not history yet. So far, it, it's it's really not. It's just basically two sides yelling at each other. I want Orange Man out. Well, no, you can't have Orange Man or Orange Man out. Blah blah blah. And and nothing's really happening so far. That, that's essentially what's happening. Is fucking nothing. Orange Man, good. Orange man bad, bro. Orange man good. Me hit you with rock. Yeah, that, that's essentially the impeachment Only proceeding right now. Only good thing right about now. Orange Man is that Orange Man has attractive daughter. That was a really good right wing impression, Ether. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, I, I, I personally literally any politician, regardless of what side they are on, if they have any sort of political profession, that voice probably fits them. Yeah, pretty much. And besides, like, hot right w right winger uh, woman award goes to uh, uh, Ben Shapiro's sister. Uh, oh yeah, and that that's Does just because that's. Have a sister? Oh yeah, dude, she's fucking fine as shit, dude. Is she hotter she's... than Ivanka Trump? Is that what you're oh, trying to say? Dude, she kind of looks like Ben Shapiro. No, she she looks like if Ben Shapiro were kind of hot and like smoothed out those bitchy little fucking smarmy midget tones that he has, <laughs> and and put, and then you put a nice pair of hooters on him, They're like that that's that's what she looks like. She kind of has oh a little God. schnoz, but I think it's hot, so that's that's Robin, fine by me. Robin, my since old you're friend, a, since you're a resident man lover, Robin, can you tell? Can you rate Ben Shapiro? Ben Shapiro? Yeah, <laughs> rate it. Like no, nine, I mean, like, five, I, like a one to ten. Let me pull up a recent photo. I don't. I, I try not to look at him. <laughs> he's not. He's not bad looking. I don't think. Just rate him one out of ten. One being uh, Chris Chan. Ten being um, I don't know. Like uh. But Chris Edgy Chan Paul. isn't a man though. True. Wait, he's, wait. He's kind of like a. 
I'd say like a like a six or seven, maybe six point five. Hmm. Would um would Chris Ch- would having sex with Chris Chan count as pedophilia? Well, he does have the oh. mind of a child. Hmm. Now, okay, that's a topic for another for fast. I mean, I guess you could make the argument that it's rape because he doesn't have the mental capacity to consent. Yes. <laughs> oh dear God. All right, you so know. What? Anyway, I have, a, I have a quick st- quick story about Ben Shapiro. All right, go ahead, Ben Shapiro story. My old kind of ex friend Cameron. We we became friends because we liked the same podcast, the Pokemon podcast called Blastburn Radio. But unfortunately, the his relationship with Blastburn Radio did not shake out very good, and he stopped listening to it. So we needed a new podcast to talk about. And he tried to get me to listen to Ben Shapiro, and I listened to one episode, and I was just like, this is horrible. And I, I, I pushed him and I forced him to listen to Biggest Problem in the Dick Show. So now, luckily, we have an actual good podcast to talk about. <laughs> no shit, that's good, that's good, that's good. But I tweeted this out yesterday, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it again. Like, every time I start to wane uh, or wa- a little bit on my uh, pro-choice beliefs... I look at my sister's kids and go, "Oh yeah, that's right." <laughs> but but anyway, that's is so it? Horrible. Uh, like, that oh, is absolutely horrifying. Yeah, but then I also look at the bags under her eyes, the fact that she's up at like seven thirty every fucking morning. Uh, I sleep in till twelve, and you know, I, I I have all my money to myself and all that shit. I'm like, fucking Christ. Uh, I mean, kids are. Kids are great in really, really small, like, five-minute doses. After that, like, you little bastards have got to get the fuck out of my existence and get out of my life. I love <sighs> children, man. You... <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> as long as they're not high school freshmen, I love them. Ugh. I don't think high ago, school freshmen count as children. They count as shitty, disgusting teenagers. They sound, they're, they're demons. My oh boy, <laughs> they are absolute demons in human forms. It is I my. Was a, I was a high school freshman three years ago, and I can confirm. It is my personal belief that during high school freshman year, children are possessed by some sort of otherworldly being. I mean, this might just be biased, but I think I was fine as a high school freshman. But I could tell everybody around me was like, "I don't like existing around these people. Hmm. I don't. I, I hate my own kind." <laughs> That's oh, life, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you're you're gonna hate. You're you're gonna have a lot of hate pretty much all your life, cause yeah, like I I don't like I I don't like most of the people, even the one of the ones some of them around me. I I try, I honestly do. And of course, like the the big lesson in life is like you gotta hide your power level, and and you gotta just not <laughs> let like your real true feelings out, or else people are gonna start crying and complaining. Oh, you don't love me enough. Why? Ah. And then you have to deal with that shit, and then you have to fucking listen to it. And then I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And like, really, it's just oh, an you're effort. Dropping a black pill. Well, no, I'm, I mean, well, just, just a little. The gorilla mindset. No, I don't have a gorilla mindset yet. I'm, you know, it's the pills about as black as my coffee. You know, the, <laughs> I'm drinking black what? coffee. Stare at the wall. Black coffee. Are you are you a light brown pill, Mo? Uh, I'm a more of a every day. I debate whether or not to slam my head against the desk pill. What what color would that be? I guess I, I guess red because of blood. From it, <laughs> Your head on the table. No, that that would be the rage pill. That's the I'm going to jail pill, which I I don't want to do. Which, the red pill is the I'm going to jail pill. How? Well, I, I I'm thinking. I guess I'm thinking more rage. Because orange man bad. Well, no, no, not orange man bad. You dingus. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I I was thinking. I, I forgot that the regular the red pill. pill. I, I forgot that the regular <laughs> red pill exists, and usually I associate red with rage. Or like black Uh-oh. with blacking the out, red or just red pill is basically just becoming you know, a far right activist, based pretty much. It, it used yeah. to not be that way. It just meant that you were woke, but just in a different way. That you were awakened to the it's, it's the, basically, the bullshit it's world around the, you. It's basically just the right wing woke, though. It means the same thing as the left wing woke, woke, but it with a different political lean slant to it. It, it also has a better it does. name. It does. It does. It really fucking sucks. 
like if if uh because uh, I, I listen to i i absorb a lot of uh mike cernovich's content and his ideas and stuff like that sorry. and it's like well i, I i'm a little sorry to, <laughs> I, no no I, i'm a little sorry too because it gets a little ridiculous and everyone's a pedophile or everyone's a secret leftist and uh, pardon me uh, uh literally all i've heard of cernovich is like that really early episode of the dick show where he guessed it well, which which, which i i love the shit out of i think it's one of my favorite fucking episodes i don't see why everyone compl like everyone in the community complains about it because i thought it was it was a lot of fun listening to uh, like him like it's it's really it's really interesting to listen to people talk about like a horrific legal event that they had to go through and then they they still they still came out the winner but you still have to sort of listen to the story and like what happened, uh, the process he had to went go through, uh, the bullshit accusations. Hey, either buddy, can you mute yourself, please? Oh, sorry about that. No problem, no problem. Uh, you know, because uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in in getting to the truth, not like a well, okay, we have all these accusations. How, how do we, how do we uh, uh, put quote, our truth? Uh, behind them, like I'd rather have the truth first. Epstein and like got no news coverage, and it was really funny to watch Cernovich go like, "Why isn't the news naming me?" Yeah, I'm so I, mad. I, I was. I, I can see like why that would be a huge problem though, because if, if the dude, like the 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 lady uh, from uh, Project Veritas, like I, I don't, I'm not going to paint her as sort of like a, a brain dead opportunist like the other ones do, because. It sounded it sounded like she had some real a genuine sincerity behind Question, the fact. What does any of this actually have to do with Dead on Arrival video games? Well, we were talking about it, so you know That's we fine. this will get trimmed anyway. Hey, Ether, you're just a you're just a guest. Don't don't start shit talking us. Yeah, we know what we're doing. We're the professionals, all right? That's right. That's uh, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, anyway. That's right. I, I guess we did uh, talk too long about this, so but yeah, today's topic besides all this stuff was uh, Mike uh, Sternovich is today's topic. <laughs> yes, the gorilla mindsets. How do you implement it in your life? Well, if you stay tuned, it will tell you how after these important commercials uh, breaks. I have only ten thousand dollars. The monkey you can go on a live stream with Mike Sternovich. <laughs> Gorilla mindset, banana in the hammock. Get your groove back. Ugh. God, there's this really shitty infomercial that I have to endure every time I listen to radio. It's it's like prevalent in Texas. I'm not sure if it's all over, but it's a ma major male medical. Get your get your testosterone levels back. Get your uh, get your. Uh, oh, hell yeah! They're pumping you up, Mo. You better get going. Uh, uh, shit, I got my testosterone. I actually don't have low T at all. I can, you know, I could be a, a bundle of Mo Rage at any point in time if I need to be. You just go, la, 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 la. And you need to just, like, fucking go fucking bananas. And, you know. I'm really full of testosterone. I can feel it. Oh, big time, big time. Feel the maleness. Feel the good stuff. But anyway, speaking of yeah, that good. Was a bad commercial. You know what else is sometimes bad? Video game launches. Video game Whoa. launches, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> it just blew my mind. Yeah, man. Like, uh, uh, the Google Stadia launch was a really fucked up, crazy ass, uh, freaking launch. Like, we were promised a lot of this, uh, the games in the cloud. No more downloads. No more this. No more that. Well, what we got is latency issues. Pr uh, the problems uh, apparently. Uh, overheating Chromecast devices for games, <laughs> or excuse me, gamers are blaming overheating, quote unquote, Chromecast devices for games crashing on the new Stadia streaming service. But Google says the devices are, quote unquote, working as intended. This is from what? this is from Business Insider. Fucking stupid. So overheating and catching fire is completely normal. Well, according to Google, uh, yes, they're working as intended. So why are you complaining? It turns out that Google is actually one at a time. One ISIS. at a time. 
Oh, Google was God actually damn it. ISIS, and the stadiums were bombs. Oh, holla, 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 holla. <laughs> Google kaboom. <laughs> Google kaboom. <laughs> Google kaboom. It's the Note 4 all over. Oh my eight. god, the fucking notes. The Note 7! Note 7, that's what I thought it was Note 8. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Ether, go ahead. When you can. Ah, uh, never mind. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What is that Google kaboom thing? When you consider that the um, CEO of Google is Indian, the telemarketer joke could be interpreted as racist, and given the number of lawyers working for Google, you could be sent to jail. <laughs> wow. Literally, they have so many lawyers. Oh, go ahead. Bro. Like, go ahead. Like make me yeah, make me famous. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> Do I have more important things to worry about, like the There's stadium. a lot of kinds of fame, and I don't think martyrdom is one of the good ones. Bum, bum, the bum, 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 bum. Robin cast because she's the only one of the three hosts that didn't participate in that joke. Yep. <laughs> the rest of us are going to jail, me and Mo. And I won't. I won't participate in those jokes. I'm above that. <laughs> Robin's at a higher level. So on a higher plane than the rest of us. Some Google, Google Stadia users were blaming overheating Chromecast Ultra devices for Stadia crashing during extended gaming sessions, but that's not the case, according to Google. A Google spokesperson has said that overheating Chromecast Ultra devices are not to blame for crashing issues, and that while those devices may get hot, they are working as intended. Google Stadia is the company's new game streaming platform, where games run on Google's cloud-connected machines. Ooh, spooky. So what's actually going wrong here? It's well, the Chromecast is, is having issues? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of getting to that in, in this... Oh, fuck. Sorry. Uh, in the article... That uh, see basically a lot of people who bought this system are, are blaming it for overheating and like almost like getting launched and getting set, uh, setting itself on fire and shit. But uh, of course, like Google is, you know, pushing back and saying, "Well, it's not our product. It must be you guys. Maybe if you wouldn't have quote unquote extended gaming sessions, you wouldn't have these problems." But I mean, first off, what the fuck did they expect? Did they not? It's like they didn't test this very well at all. Like, you didn't set down a bunch of, like, 14-year-olds with Fortnite and leave them alone for 24 hours and just left, like, a bunch of, like, G Fuel and fucking, like, little, like, corn chips and stuff in there because I guarantee you they'll fucking eat that shit and they'll drink all of that and they'll play for, like, 24 hours fucking straight. And, you know, the fact that they didn't do that the fact they didn't stress it sounds like they didn't stress test their products at all and this is what's happening now uh go ahead either so these chromecast being chromecast before but were these explicitly intended to be used as gaming pcs uh yeah they are it's a uh l let me find this uh <clears throat> Uh, this is Google Stadia is the company's new gaming sh game streaming platform. And it's it's not really like gaming PCs. What you're doing is you're just streaming like a video of the game and you're putting inputs into like the game that's running on like a Google and it PC. Can only run on a like account. PlayStation Now essentially. Yeah, exactly. It's the same thing as PlayStation Now. But can it only run on a Chromecast device? Uh, yeah, it can only run at a Chromecast device. I thought uh, that I thought I could run on more than just or, Chromecast. I'm, uh, um, well, shit. I I actually have uh, no idea, really. I was just going to talk about Google Stadia, like, and and Chromecast. I I guess is uh, the primary device that a lot of people. I mean, it is Google Chrome, so it would kind of make sense that, that oh, uh, it can actually run on any uh, device that can stream a video. Oh, okay, okay, so okay. So a laptop, a smartphone, like a computer, anything that you can stream video to, you can play a game on. Sorry, my phone was kind of br broke for a second. Um, so then is it really a, a problem for Google? Because they could just say that their Chromecast devices really aren't built for long-term uh, gaming sessions and that the service was made for more well-oriented computers. 
I'm sure they want people to buy their Chromecast devices. As well. Yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty much like death right there immediately. Because no, no real, no actual gamer is really just thinking, "Well, gee, I should only responsibly game for maybe an hour or so, and then like go out and have a life." Like, no, nah, fuck. Well, they could just, they could just say, "Don't game using this specific piece of hardware because it's not built for it. Use something else." Right, I... but the alternative is so Google could deny that it's the Chromecast and keep trying to push sales of like bundles bundling the stadia with the chromecast so that way it's like oh this is all you need all you need is a tv and then you get the chromecast and the stadia and you can play any game that you want they could just release a chromecast gaming pc that's actually made for it well if i recall correctly steam tried to do that several years ago where they had the steam box the and steam I, box. I i i love the hell out of that idea because essentially they wanted to do that except they just wanted to do it for steam games and i was really into it but then the controller uh w was a huge issue and the controller for it it's like a fucking joke, right? Like no one's you know like like seriously, who here It was huge. Yeah, it it was fucking huge. It, it had no analog stick. It had, didn't have analog sticks w at all. The uh, the D pad was an atrocity, and it was just all around hard to navigate. It was all around like it just it was it's it's hard to uh, to to play with to, to grip on. You can't really get comfortable holding it at all. Uh, it was just about as bad as the original Xbox's original controller. If uh, any of you have ever played the very first Xbox, if if you have, oh, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, uh, speaking of, th there's there's even problems with the Google Stadia controller. But I'll get to that in a second. Uh, one Stadia gamer on Reddit wrote that I was in the middle of a fight in Destiny 2 when suddenly my Chromecast died and lost connectivity to their network. I went to unplug it from the power supply and it was extremely hot. Fucking hell. So it really is just just all around just a shit show and they really did not... It, this, is, this is why you never buy the very first iteration of something you wait for like the second or third uh, iterations of said pro uh, said product to come out because if anyone remembers the Xbox 360 and the Red Ring of Death and how prevalent that was when it first launched uh, like you remember like if you have any friends like I have had that have had that uh, console at launch uh, there were several of them that had massive, massive pro uh, connectivity problems, uh, overheating I issues, or the device just crashing. Yeah, that, that's the thing that blew me away about the 360, is that people would be like, oh yeah, you know, I uh, got this 360 for Christmas, and uh, oh, you know, it just, it red rings, so I had to buy another one. And it was like, people were just okay with that. Like, oh yeah, I just I had to buy a whole other console, because it just red ringed, and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, that's that's fucking insane, man. I can't believe like people would really just write a blank check like it was no big deal to uh, uh to to Microsoft like that. Like I love the 360, uh you know I, I love to ha I love playing on it, but at the end of the day, you know I'm, I'm sending that bitch right back to where it fucking came from. I'm demanding that you motherfuckers fix the damn problems that are wrong with it. But anyway, uh, I'll just go ahead and let me finish up this last little paragraph in this article. We'll call it a day on uh, this, uh, uh, on this, stadia. Uh, on the stadia, God. Uh, several others chimed in reporting similar experiences. Some said that they even experienced crashing issues with Chromecast Ultra and, uh, and reported that their device had become hot to the touch. While others said they didn't experience any crashing despite their devices getting hot. So damn, they probably don't even have a decent cooling unit in the damn thing, or they they don't have anything that can uh, uh, optimize uh, how. Or I, I guess they they don't they don't have anything that really keeps the entire device cool, like say uh, your modern everyday phone or even a freaking laptop. For God's sake, they didn't even pay attention. Google fucking. Why would they? That seems like an in, a critical design flaw. It would make it incapable of almost any basic function. Like you can't, you couldn't run like anything. Sounds remotely. like a big design flaw to me. Oh yeah. Can, can could they even run anything remotely taxing on their system without it just breaking? 
Well, here's the thing. We'll never know because I found out where all their money was going. It was going into them to, uh, promoting this quote-unquote gender-neutral controller as the Stadia selling point. What? No, 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 no. Hold on a sec. It gets much, much How better. Controller, aren't c controllers by default? gender neutral see there you go Unless see you if you it. see there you go that's what literally everyone <laughs> no, in the new oh no, no wait, wait 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 hold on uh th th that's the thing all controllers are gender neutral by default because <laughs> everyone in the known fucking universe exclaimed exactly what you just said ether when that was put out so this is this is the thing how did they make a change the controller to make it any more gender neutral than it already here's was? the thing Here's what it is. So, most, <laughs> most, <laughs> I can't even say it. Never mind. It's too stupid. No, 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 no. You get you, 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 you fucking read it out now since you started. Uh, you brought it up. <laughs> so most game controllers have a, at least on part of them, a flaccid shape. That could be used for female masturbation. So that was just a what? brush line in it too. Wait, wait, wait. Who who the fuck said that? Who is desperate enough to do that? Yeah, I said that. Who is desperate I... enough to stick? You know, I, mean, <laughs> technic I think anyone who would who is desperate enough to put a controller up their <laughs> ass would do that with anything. If well, does it vibrate? The light in the controller, so the both genders can masturbate with it. Oh my you guys god! Know, does the Stadia controller vibrate? I don't know, actually. <laughs> yes, it does. It, oh, it does. Jesus. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that any, if you go to any like um, meme site and you just look up funny X-rays, you can find all kinds of shit shoved up people's orifices, and oh, I guarantee yeah. you, there's already just there that among any Xbox controllers. There are lots of other things as well. So if you're trying to make gender neutral controllers, I, I think that that's like the last thing that anyone is like shoving up their asshole currently. Well, the, well, place, the, the PlayStation Move is a literal dildo. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I'm, I'm well, looking at that little ball on the end, that little squishy thing. Where does that go? Sluts Where don't do care. <laughs> it's like a handle. But uh, <laughs> you hold it with that. But I'm I'm looking at the picture of the controller right now, and what's it called? I want to see. Oh, it's just a Google Stadia. It's just a good Google Stadia controller. I'm reading the bounding into comics.com one, and it, it just it fucking blows my mind because this uh, Wasabi P colored controller will get women into gaming on the Google Stadia. This is a direct quote from one of their market uh, spokespeople. And, uh, and designing this was so expensive that they couldn't afford to put fans in all of in all of their systems. Yeah, it's and also like, fuck ugly. It's also fuck I'm ugly, and it's right now. It's a this fucking monstrosity. Is, I'm looking at this. This doesn't look any less phallic than the handles of any other controller at all. I I think it hinges on the colors. I mean, the not the sex uses of the controller. Well, I I I think they're. <laughs> Well, oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah. I was about to make a point, but yeah, you, you got a point there. But my my God, there's there's like literally like thousands of uh, uh, colors. Uh, like you you can even in some websites you can even custom uh, custom make your own controller, uh, and you can make it whatever color you want. There's also like several websites where you can get super cheap ten dollars quote unquote skins or shells from for your controller like uh you know like my sponsor uh, and uh, this isn't this isn't actually me trying to promote my shit i i am just saying that at uh uh oh fuck me uh, store thank you thank you thank you thank you i forgot my fucking sponsor's <laughs> name because i heard something in the background yeah if you go to fadegrips.store and you put promo code Mo Diggity into the promo code box, you'll save fifty percent off your total purchase every time. Uh, you, you know, there that site has a bunch of shit and a bunch of options for you control. So really, this just sounds like a really hollow, uh, empty freaking platitude. That there, there, this is like a really piss poor way of marketing towards women. 
I, I believe, because I don't think the majority of women are dumb enough to really fall for this. Uh, it's just something that they're trying to use to make themselves look good in the public eye and progressive. I, I guess it's it's really the sort of the worst way, the worst way to be political or to be involved, quote unquote, in like uh, society is to be this like empty, uh, this this uh, uh, obvious, em uh, obviously empty about it. I, I, just, I fucking hate everything about that. Anyway. Well, and like the worst part about calling the controller a gender neutral controller and saying like, oh, well, this, you know, pea green color is, you know, g a gender neutral color is that at the same time, you're giving power to the colors of like blue and pink that we do traditionally just like assign as gendered colors, which is the opposite of what progressive movements want is they want colors to not have any gender connotation to them because that's fucking stupid. They're colors. Well, what do you yeah, expect that is from fucking stupid? Why do colors ascend to gender? That's the most stupid thing I've heard in my fucking life. It's just so life. fucking arbitrary. Yeah. Look at our gender neutral controller. Fucking stupid. Yeah, it, it really is sort of a it, you can tell that this is why that their their shit failed is cuz they didn't put any kind at all any kind of a uh, 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 of uh, 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 R and D into their st into their stuff whatsoever because they were too busy trying to get uh, try, uh, pumping money into the HR department to make themselves look good, like I said. And this is why the the console freaking fails and suffers because uh, uh, they didn't put any they didn't put enough money into the R and D of the freaking controller uh, 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 of the console. It fucking sucks. Anyway. That's enough about Stadia, because God, I can talk about that all night. And that's such a huge failure. Failure. Um, I want to yeah. go ahead. I want to go ahead and uh, uh, segue into another game that I was huge into that I never really got uh, to get into very uh, very much or at all because it was just a. Uh, it was freaking dead pretty much all, all uh, like about a month after it launched, and that game is Evolve. Now, Evolve was this really cool concept of you and a few other players, you get together and you hunt fucking monsters, right? And everything was cool, uh, like the, the idea was cool, the graphics were cool, the, the gameplay was fucking excellent. Uh, you know, it, no reason to not be hyped about it, right? And then you get into uh, launch you get into the launch day and everyone starts to find out that there's several monsters who are like stuck behind a pay pay a uh, little there were several monsters stuck behind a paywall uh several skins several weapons just a, a lot of dlc of the a lot, uh, i think uh, even some maps uh were, were stuck behind the paywall and uh, no one was really happy about it at all so fucking it's considered to be one of the biggest crashes of 2015 in fact this is uh this is one of the uh uh blurbs of this uh of this article i'm reading from kinggamer.com everything will be in the description by the way was uh evolve was set to be one of the hottest games of 2015 many members of the gaming community believed the game would be a success all across all platforms instead a wide variety of cr criticism and controversy surrounded the game this ultimately led to what we believe to be the tragic end of a franchise that had enormous potential and i believe every you single really word call it a franchise if it only ever had one game well, it was it was supposed to branch out into other franchises and other sequels as well. Like, the, um, unlike Destiny, they actually had and were actually going to adhere to their quote unquote ten year plan uh, for the game. And uh, I, I I bought into that uh, idea. And unfortunately, we we got what we had today. It was just a uh, and there were also launch problems as well. A lot of people were having problems uh, connecting to the game. And, and all sorts of shit, and it was a it was a fucking travesty, uh, because uh, this game was hyped for years. Uh, this game was uh, set to, uh, to be like one of the biggest games, of course, of like I said, of 2015, and uh, you got what we've got today. So anyway, uh, anyone have any experience playing that game whatsoever, or uh, or a a a do you have anything to say? Uh, it's a pretty good format. I mean, it's like tried and true it's you know kind of it's like the same format as like a dead by daylight that we have today you know mm -hmm. 
And Dead by you know, Daylight is oh, versus sorry. one big bad character, you know. And, and Dead by Daylight, despite being kind of rickety, uh, it works just fine. Excuse and me. And also, on a sec. pretty much has the same exact model. <sighs> sorry, I might have to get some more water in a second here. Uh, <laughs> I have been sort of talking. Dead by Daylight this. essentially has the same model as as Evolve, as far as I know. Oh yeah, it has yeah same model, same sort of idea. I don't understand why I I don't remember what company uh, made uh, uh, Dead by Daylight. Do you happen to know that? No, not off the top of my head. Hmm. Look it up real quick. Oh okay okay because uh, no, I'll look it up. Oh, Robin's got it, I believe. Behavior interactive. Oh, okay, so like essentially, with no offense intended, it was kind of a no-name company, right? Or at least, would you consider a no-name? Um, Doritos Crash Course. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? That was the 360 game of a of. It was like the only free-to-play game on the 360. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the three Burger King games? Uh, I heard that there was supposed to be a game uh, developed, but oh man, I wish Paul were here. That we were playing a. There were three games released by Burger King as part in their in their meal toys as part of a, a, a marketing scheme, all for the Xbox 360. They they faded into obscurity immediately, and almost never has or one and almost no one has heard of them. Hmm. I remember as a kid, you would get like. Uh... You'd get those like puffs tissues or whatever, and like inside the puffs tissues, you would get a little like CD ROM, and it was a like a free demo for like a Nickelodeon game. Hmm. Those ones just stuck in my head for some reason. I remember I remember playing one, and just like um, basically you were Bur you were the Burger King sitting on a tiny motorcycle crashing into things randomly. It was it, they were just like just think um. Y you know, um, big rigs over the road racing. Mm -hmm. No. Basically, just think that, but it's Burger King sitting on a tiny motorcycle. Oh, that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> no. Do you think the game that Paul was talking about was uh, the KFC dating simulator? Oh no, though I didn't get. I want <laughs> I to you, play Colonel that. Sandy. Is there a KFC dating simulator? Yeah, yeah. it's it's fucking weird. It, it's it's super weird, but I really want to play it like in the worst way. You're falling for it. You're falling for the no, marketing. Oh, buy mode. it and stream it. I don't want to. Bu well, no, yeah. I'm not buying it. Fuck that, because then I, I, I think I'm uh, fa uh, falling for the bullshit. Pirate or ROM? Uh, I don't want to pirate anything these days. I, I got. No, what it, do you mean you're falling for the bullshit? I love you, Colonel Sanders. Is the best game ever, and we should support it monetarily so we get, uh, we get a whole franchise out of it. A whole I don't want a whole franchise. franchise. No, fuck that. That's fucking weird, man. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to like. I don't want fast food restaurants to start developing games and shit, because then. I want to play. I love you, Ronald McDonald. Damn it. Oh God, you just want a fucking clown, don't you? Just, just admit it, Riley. You want to sex a clown. I'm trying to think of more fast food mascots. The well, king. Oh, the oh, Wendy. <laughs> the king is the one that I was just talking uh, yes! about. Yes, the one. Wendy's dating. I would legit. I would legitimately be into the Wendy's dating simulator. What about? And she's just Matt? really fucking mean to you, like she is on Twitter. Would you date Matt to <laughs> me, man? <laughs> she's just a bitch, like on Twitter. Okay, Moon man. Oh God. Would you date a crazy racist moon in a tuxedo. Who only goes out at night and regularly brings his hairy, bearded, morbidly obese father to dates. Oh, dear Wait, God, the moon, no. The moon from McDonald's? Yes, the McDonald's moon. It means didn't, it. didn't fucking King Critic use that as his profile picture? I think so for a while, but he's <laughs> apparently now a meme on right wing image boards. Yeah, and there's lots of naughty no no words that he just lots of naughty lots no -no of naughty no no words, words that he just blurts out. Like somebody decided one day to go, you know what? I'm going to make Moon Ran Moon Man into a racist symbol for absolutely no reason whatsoever. They could have. Technically, he they, was never called Moon Man before he became a racist symbol. 
his original name was Mac Tonight. Oh, no shit. No shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I figured it was like something McDonald sounding that was his original name. I just never could recall it. Yeah, also- I literally only know about Mac tonight because of his fucking King Critic's profile picture. Oh, dear God. Yeah, bring me back to high school. <laughs> Here, people we, singing the Moon Man King song. Critic on the Mocast. Who's King Critic? We're gonna get David David Clegg. David Clegg. No, we're not getting fucking Clegg. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> No, G- Did God. Did you know that Clegg had a podcast with Monkey Jones at one point? I think he had a, a podcast with a couple of other people. Wasn't he the one that would just like spurg the fuck right out no, and just he like did a scream? Podcast with Kimball. He did a podcast with Kimball, but before that, before he was even before he even called into the Dick Show, he did a podcast with Monkey, where every week he would review that week's best debate and that week's Dick Show and compare them. No, oh, that's kind of wow. That's kind of a cool uh, idea. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, but enough about the dick show, people. Let's just stay on topic. Video uh, games. Yeah, video games, video games, video games. I- I've been talking for about 30 good minutes here. So uh, I believe, they w- what was it, Robin second and Riley third? Or, yeah, uh, that, that Robin- was oh, Okay, okay. Robin, uh, I guess go ahead and uh, bring us out what you got. All right. Here is what I consider the most criminal flop of all time. This game did not deserve to flop. It's Prey. It's a recent one. It's it's Prey. Oh, the the new uh, remake or relaunch of Prey? Uh, it, it's like a spiritual successor to like System Shock or some, something. Oh, okay, because I remember playing Prey on the 360. It was the one where you're a Native American dude and your grandfather uh, gets killed in, in front of you because aliens abduct you off of the reservation you were living off. No, the, what I'm thinking of is uh, it's by the same people that made Dishonored. It's by Arcane uh, Arcane Studios. It's a good series of games right there, the Dishonored series. I like that. Oh, I love Dishonored. And they, they announced that they were making this game called Prey, which the whole idea of it is uh, you're, you're on a space station. Um, you don't really, like, have your memory. And you're, you're just, like, trying to, like, get off or, like, solve whatever the hell's going on. There's, like, a bunch of, like, really fucked up aliens. And it was just, like, really fun. And, like, it was a good horror game, which is kind of rare. And it it just, for some reason, and it wasn't like, you know, there was anything particularly wrong with it that made it flop. It was just, like, it was a new title that no one was familiar with. There was no loyalty to the title, and it just didn't sell well. Oh, sorry about that. My fucking mic was goddamn go. muted. Uh, damn. So, uh, uh, I you know I, I gotta say I've never I've never actually played System Shock, and I've never actually played uh, Prey at all. So, like, uh, what what led to its uh, uh, to it being like DOA, or what? Why did it fail at launch? Yeah, I think it was just that there was no, like I said, it was a new title. People didn't know. Like there wasn't like a prey series, and it wasn't advertised as like this is the spiritual successor to System Shock. It was just like, hey, there's this new game, Prey, it's by the people who made Dishonored. You can get it if you want. It just wasn't marketed super well. It was not the Mighty Number no. Nine of System Shock. Oh God, I had forgotten about <laughs> Mighty Number no. Nine. Oh. Oh. That was a, that was another shame. That oh. one. Oh wait, I got one. I got one. Does anyone remember ukulele? Ukulele? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, yes. I backed that so hard and I got a piece of steaming shit. Did the ukulele end up being shitty? I've heard like super conflicting viewpoints on that. I, I I tried playing it. First of all, half of the rewards I was promised for backing it never sure arrived. I never got the t-shirt, never got the poster, never got that dumbass game cartridge. And I checked the credits, I couldn't see myself anywhere in there, but that's besides the point. Um, the game, when I tried playing it, 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 it tries so hard to be Banjo-Kazooie, but it, it just fails on so many levels. It's like it's kind of like subtle things, 
like the bit bits where the the feather quills are are just completely scattered everywhere. So you're not like really following paths. You're just searching every single corner for hours at a time to find them all with no real rhyme or reason to it. Um, the um the whole expand uh, thing with the expanding worlds doesn't really work when your worlds are so damn bland. And um, that and also the voices are just grating. They aren't at all. Like, um, maybe it's just nostalgia for me, because I actually played Banjo-Kazooie and Tui on the um, N64, but, uh, maybe, although pretty recently to when I started playing ukulele, um, the voices are just horrible by comparison. It's just like, like uh, allow me to do a little bit of a demonstration here. <laughs> no, but John Chan's voice died. Oh well, yeah. Well, John Tron was supposed to be in that game, but then he decided to have an opinion that was opposite or left, and everyone fucking. He said he wanted to cleanse the American gene pool. I I, 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 don't, I, I don't I I don't I don't believe that he actually said that. I think people actually. <laughs> it's it, on the. You can watch it. Did he actually? It all right. I'm so, pretty sure. Was it like yeah, a joke? Or... Bidding with also was the famous is inc is incest really wrong guy. So it's not like he was in mu he he wasn't he wasn't in good company. Well, uh, like, what, was that a joke or did he actually? No, it was not a joke. Uh, he no. he actually really did mean it. Yeah, I don't know if he meant it, but he he certainly said it. It oh, seemed like he meant it at the time. John was saying, I don't know if it was it, deeper than this. If it was even John more racist than this. The, the John main John issue was like maybe he did, maybe he just like he he drank the Kool Aid a little bit. I think like he wasn't. Joshua? I don't think he knew what he was saying. Yeah, I think he was, like, in too deep. Hmm. I think what he was saying, what I thought he was saying, what I perceived it as, I never actually listened to it, but from all the accounts I've heard, is that he doesn't want the extinction of the white race. Like, he wants the, the white race to go on. John, by oh, cleansing Christ. the gene pool of words. the United I States of America. Christ. 14 words. Okay, well, <laughs> we don't want to hear the 14 <laughs> words. <laughs> Can I tell it to my do you uh, think he actually taught Jock the 14 words? I actually, dude, if, I, I'm going to go, like, watch that shit probably later on after this, and if he, if he really does, oh, God, he, he probably bad. made, I, I thought he was just pissed off about, like, because I only saw, like, clips, and, like, a lot of his stuff was just like, hey, I don't really like the immigration policy the Obama administration set forth. And, you know, and then, like, Destiny wouldn't stop yelling or, like, going, clickety-clackety, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to fact-check well, you I mean, and all that stuff. You statistics that were wrong where he was saying, like, well, you do realize that uh, rich blacks commit more crime than poor whites, and it's like it's yeah, not that's even what? true. Yeah, I heard because I saw what? an animation that was like the Game Grumps intro, where it does "Hey, I'm Grump," and then it goes to John, and it's that rant about the <laughs> about the. Rich oh my god! Whites. Does it actually? Did he actually have any statistics for that, or did he just pull out? Of... Uh, he he. All the statistics he brought forward were either like not real stats, like like pictures that were posted on 4chan that didn't actually come from anywhere or like he just yeah. said like look it up i've heard it look it up and it's like this is not true oh god <laughs> but when he said rich blacks commit more crime than poor whites he just said look Did it up you look it up this is a well-known that that's not true I'm so, gonna look it up right now. So well like let's not make the whole podcast about it, but so he <laughs> he jank yugard uh, his way at, uh, through the the freaking destiny debate is that what y'all are telling me? Google it, look yeah, it, it up. Was... Of course. And, it, no, and, and the thing is, like people are saying, like like a lot of people said at the time, like oh well, destiny just pulled him on and like got him to say some stupid shit, and it was like, no, nah, he was just destiny pulled him on and was like, John, you don't actually think that, right? And then he was like, no, well, I just think, and it was that it all went downhill from there. Oh, it all God. just <laughs> famous he just last flubbed word. It. Well, no, yeah. like, uh, it, it was famous last words for most of a year. Then he came back roaring, ba the flex roaring tape. hard uh, with the flex tape, tape stuff. And honestly, everyone but, like, you know, the usual suspects, uh, you know, that they everyone but them fucking forgot about it or just didn't care, which is really, if, if, you, if you just really want to just take a black pill or a uh, that's it, I'm done type pill, just just look at like recent events with like school shootings and mass shootings and stuff like that and 
check in like realizing that pretty much that is just Tuesday for pretty much everyone these days or you know like meaning it's just another day of the week uh, but yeah video games video games video games right. yeah. he lost that voice acting job and, he, and like even people were even even like Destiny was like Yo, he shouldn't have lost his job on this, this game because of some stupid shit he said on my live stream that's ridiculous mm. uh, so uh, Robin what was your second game um you know, I mean, I, I owned Duke Nukem Forever. Which oh, is one God. Of the most, one of the most infamous flops yeah. of all time. Oh, big and time. I, I, and I owned it more as like a, I know this game is bad, but I'm playing it because it's bad kind of way. Mm -hmm. So bad it's good, basically. And like, it is kind of so bad it's good at some points. Like, I, I love like the shitty like uh, like writing on a chalkboard that you can do in that game for no reason they just let you like pull up a whiteboard or a chalkboard or whatever and just like draw on like like wherever there is one in the world <laughs> and, the, and the mechanics for drawing are just absolutely atrocious so it's just like you draw scribbles and then leave it isn't the mechanics for like drawing the, essentially the same for the pissing yeah it's well, the same thing does he like yeah because I know there's a scene where he's like oh, I gotta take a piss it's like the first scene of the game, oh my god! <laughs> oh man, I'm dude, here to I love chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. <laughs> oh man, dude, I, I I've been a huge fan of the Duke Nukem series, and I I love the shit out of it. And even I knew uh, a, a like a failure when I saw one, but uh, I'm here to chew ass and kick bubble gum, and I'm all out of ass. Out of curiosity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, either what you're saying out of curiosity has any um like for the reverse of this has anyone like heard of or seen a game that like everyone thought was gonna just bomb the moment it released and turned out to be like ridiculously popular or something like be the next big thing uh well everyone sort of thought Fortnite was a piece of shit when it came out they uh, the usual things were the usual criticisms were uh it's too cartoony what the hell is this building shit uh everything looks kind of dumb what's with the dancing uh and it caught on and then suddenly it just fucking blew right the hell up uh, like it just caught on like wildfire and uh, I found a, I found a game informer with Fortnite on the cover the other day do you want to know what year it's from oh uh, what year this blew me away. It's it's a 2014 Game Informer with oh. Fortnite on the cover. <clears throat> yeah, yeah it, it was. Fortnite was supposed to be some different game for like the PS3, Xbox 360. Yeah, it was primarily supposed to be like the 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 PVE uh, game that they originally wanted you to buy that no one bought uh, that no one's bought whatsoever. That I think looks really cool, and I'm very interested in playing PVE on Fortnite, but. No one fucking played it, so you know there's not a lot of support for it. But the uh, they the were supposed to make it fucking free, but they never did. Yeah, they were supposed to make it free at the beginning. I thought of last year or something, uh, 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 earlier this year or something. But apparently, maybe they changed their minds. They're going to make it quote unquote free uh, at, at the end of uh, uh, this year. I'm not completely sure. Epic likes to change their minds a, a lot, but uh. Unless they, you know, we're going to be, we're starting to run short on time here. Do you have anything else you want to say about Duke Nukem Forever, Robin? I, I, I actually would recommend playing it now. You would recommend playing it now, even though it was like a tremendous flop and not really like, a, it didn't really live up to the quote unquote hype or anything. Oh yeah, because you're not by buying it now, you're not giving them money. Just buy it and play it because it's garbage. <laughs> and it's great. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Riley, uh, what, what, what's a what's a game or two that uh, that uh, you, that was DOA? All right, I got a game and I got a couple of consoles and I got to pull the thing back up. Well, here I, I I can give you about ten minutes, okay? So just pick two of them, okay, for me, or, or for or two of them for me, okay? Oh, Mo's Russian. He's got to get out of here. No, we got no, 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 no. It's just that we. It's a uh, fifty-six at uh, fifty-six two, right now. Run over again. Yeah, uh, like yeah, uh, we've been talking for about an hour, <laughs> and my jaw is fucking killing me. Last? Well, usually, like, well, you. In my experience, it seems like everyone goes at about two hour mark. Even though, it's, I think Asterios could like uh, 
uh, I mean, this one specifically, like, like oh. uh, how long does the mocast usually last? Oh, well, generally like an hour and some change. Last last week it was an hour and a half because it was a particularly mm -hmm. good one. Yeah, why don't we let's start on Star Wars, right? Uh, uh, all right, no, no, God, uh, no. <laughs> Star Wars, Monkey Jones, get into the classic. Let's just shit talk for about another hour and a half. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, Riley, go ahead, buddy. First off, because it's the first thing I scrolled to that I wanted to talk about, the PlayStation Classic. Sony. What's the PlayStation Sony. Classic? PlayStation oh, Classic. Oh, 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 yeah, it's that, that mini console, that, it's one of the mini console fads, right, thingies, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sony okay. decided the they wanted to capitalize. Like mini Super Nintendo. Didn't those things, like, just blow up last Christmas where, it, like, the new Hatchimals sort of thing where everyone was just going crazy to buy one? Oh, the, the, yeah, the NES and the SNES Classic were huge, and they were really cool. Yeah. So Sony decided they wanted to capitalize on that hype and pull out the PlayStation Classic. And... How'd it go? It wasn't great. <laughs> It was not great. They, uh, not as bad as the Sega Genesis Classic, though. That one was just... That, one, just, was, that it's like, one was produced before all the others, and that was like the super shitty predecessor, and Nintendo looked at that and said, let's do that except to not fucking care. And didn't they... Didn't it's it... like, I, I, I was at Target one time around Christmas last year. I saw just um Sega Genesis stacked to the ceiling, and... The area where that was marked for Nintendo o System Classics, just empty, completely empty. It was just sad. Because you see all those Sonic the Hedgehog faces staring at you with their blank eyes, and you see their inner pain. Uh, wasn't the Sega... Uh, I, I'm, tr I'm trying to remember if it was uh, the Sega or like another... Uh, uh, mini console knockoff that wasn't released in the states but it was released in some weird countries like uh south america and europe i i, I could have sworn uh rich from review tech usa uh did uh, several videos on the topic and i can't i can't, don't remember if it was the sega or a turbo graphic 16 uh iteration of the mini console uh fad do any of you remember that at all doesn't ring a bell sorry doesn't ring a bell all right, uh, uh, Riley. What else? She, uh, like a uh, uh, what? What? What else? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, what? What else about the Sega, uh, mini Sega, console thingy? Mini PlayStation, you mean? Or... Oh, but fuck, man! I'm thinking fucking Sega still. <laughs> God. All right. So, like, what? What game? What, what was the problem? I heard that the, uh, no one really liked the games that they had on there. Which, for the most part, when I saw the gaming list, I thought it was fine. Yeah, it's just that it was a relatively lame because due to due to rights issues, a lot of big names of the PlayStation were absent. A lot of things that sort of defined the PlayStation, like mainly mainly our two platforming animal friends, Spyro and Crash, are like the faces of the PS One. Yeah, are... I, I think that's. Has anyone played the new Spyro remake for the Nintendo Switch? Uh, no, I haven't played it yet, but I'm hearing like a lot of really good things about that. Uh, the medieval. I watched Monkey play it. It looks cool. Uh, the I I heard a lot of really good things about the medieval mediev medieval uh medieval. There we go, medieval uh, remake, the Crash Bandicoot uh, trilogy remake, and uh, uh. Uh, what was the other one that you just said? Spyro. Spyro yeah, the dragon. I, yeah, I heard that a lot of everyone seems to really love the three out of them. Uh, lo love the three, love the hell out of them. So uh, I don't see what the. I, I guess the big problem that they weren't able to put them on the, uh, the the big reason that they weren't able to put them on the PlayStation console was because uh, 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 I guess they were too busy. That they own the rights and they didn't want to give them up. And I suppose that they were just too busy working on that product, which is Wait, still. A how did Nintendo get the rights to Sony's characters? I, I fuck all I know. Hmm. Well, any final or more bombed games that we can talk about? 
Yeah, I have one more. I, I, I was allotted two by Mo himself. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead, Riley. So I was going to talk about Epic Mickey 2, but I don't have time, and I found a much crazier entry on this list. A game that has become a huge cult classic. Everybody's heard of it now. Everybody loves it now. Earthbound. Earthbound, Earthbound wasn't exactly a failure, but then again, well, or at the time it might have been. Yeah, Earthbound Earth flopped. That's why Mother 3 never got localized, because Earthbound... Earthbound, they spent $2 million on marketing, it, and it only sold around 140,000 copies. Yeah, Earthbound is a hugely influential RPG, one that I've never finished because I don't beat video games almost ever but I've played a good few hours of it and it's really fun and it uh, its failure caused its sequel to not get localized which uh, a lot of people are not happy about to this day you know what's kind of crazy oh sorry go ahead yeah people push for Mother 3 to get localized all the fucking time I heard somewhere I'm not sure if this is true I'm not sure this was like some bullshit onion article but apparently, Reggie, from what I heard, Reggie fils said that, like, one of the best parts of not being the president anymore is that people can't harass him about Mother 3 anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you guys are talking about Undertale? About Mother 3? God damn it. You guys talking about Undertale or Homestuck? Uh, no, neither yeah. one. Uh, no. uh, 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 Mother 3. Oh, I thought you said... Uh... So the Earthbound. Oh, I did say Earthbound. Earthbound. Oh yeah, that's, that's Undertale and Homestuck. It's the same game. What? Same game. I I don't understand. They're, they're all three are the same thing. Yeah, that's a fact. That's true facts. Yep. It's okay, Mo. It's not a just, you don't gamer. have to understand it. Just go with it. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll just go ahead and go with it. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Like I when I was playing, you know, because I'm an old man. And uh, when I was when I was playing like all those games when they first launched on the uh, on the uh, SNES, uh, I never heard of uh, Earthbound. Shut up! I never heard of uh, uh, Earthbound or any of the Mother series or anything like that. So it's sort of a shame that I I, I missed out on all of uh, on like a few of these classic games that you guys uh, seem to love a whole lot now. Like wh whenever I played Smash Brothers. Well, with with the kid with the uh, the black eyes and the fucking backwards baseball cap, uh, I was trying trying to figure out where the fuck did this dude come from, and, and the weird uh, two dimensional character, the black and white two dimensional character that has the rah, 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 that fucking character. I have no idea where he's from either. Yeah, that's um that's the Game and Watch. That's some old Nintendo shit. That's yeah, like the first game Nintendo made. These were like the very first handheld game systems that I think ever made. Oh, okay. I guess I must not have uh, heard of that one or played that game. They made the... Not, like the... not like the very first ever made. First made by Nintendo. They were like old stuff back way before that. They were like on red red, just red dots bouncing around. Oh, I remember shit. I um, a long, long time ago when I first started YouTube, I did a random video of Game & Watch Gallery for the Game Boy Color, which was a gallery of a bunch of the Game & Watch games. That was a good time. No shit. Yeah. Alright, uh, well, God, guys, we've been going a good hour. We've talked about a lot of games and a lot of cool products and shit. Uh, is there anything, any, uh, I guess, closing comments that you would like to make? Uh, either, or either I'll start. I'll start with you. We could probably like set. I mean, we probably have a little bit of time left. We could probably talk a bit about Epic Mickey too, if any, if everyone's in school with that. Oh yeah, we were yes. gonna do that. Okay. Uh, well, Riley, I almost oh, forgot about uh, that. Oh, whoever wants to talk about Epic Mickey two, go ahead. I mean, I remember right when, around when it was released. It was just like every single commercial was Epic Mickey two, the power of two, or whatever. I mean, I, I could never really get far because I don't have any friends, and I did not have the patience to switch between two controllers rapidly. Feels bad. Um, but I remember it just being generally lower quality than the um the original Epic Mickey. But I was a little kid at the time, so I didn't really have much of an online presence or know about any drama going on. So 
I, w I was I'm actually unaware as of yet that it was a bombed release. So, just explain. Yeah, Epic Mickey 2 was developed... It was a game... It was a sequel to Epic Mickey, because Epic Mickey was very successful. So they made a sequel. They released it on the Wii, the Wii U, Xbox 360, PS3, PS Vita, and PC. Jesus. And it was... He despite heavy advertisements, they advertised this shit everywhere, and it was released on multiple co consoles. It only sold... 270,000 copies, barely a quarter of the game's original sales, of the original game sales. Did it actually make any money? Um, I'm not sure if it made money, but I know it made significantly less money than Epic Mickey 1. And the game's probably not much money, because the game's failure led to the uh, junction point, the development studios, shutting down. Oh, huh. well, that's, that's too bad. I played the very yeah. first Epic Mickey with uh, my friends and their kids, and uh, it looked really good. Like it looked like it. It, it seemed like a really great idea for uh, a game, and I guess it's just one of those uh, instances where you can only knock it out of the park once with the same concept. It's a super good. It's a super good series of platformers because it's like, it's a cool original idea. It's a cool way to bring back an old character that, like, old boomers will remember with Oswald the Rabbit. And I never actually, I only learned of Oswald the Rabbit being a character because I played the original Epic Mickey. Um, yeah, I, I think 90% of people who know of Oswald the Rabbit know of him from Epic Mickey, but then there's that 10% of boomers who know Oswald from actually the cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, any, anyone else have anything else to say on uh, Epic Mickey 2? The, um, the, con the control system for uh, Oswald as a player character made absolutely no sense to my eight-year-old brain. Oh, shit. Uh, all right, uh, final thoughts. Uh, either we'll start with you. Those were my final thoughts, the whole Epic Mickey thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, Riley? Um, it sucks when genuinely good games fail. And if you think that a game is good, you better damn well buy it because you don't want it to fail. Yeah, if it's a really, really good game, please don't pirate it. Just, just fucking, just, just do a couple of Fiverr gigs or like, you know, fucking mow some lawns. Just go buy Get on the, the game. Yeah, get all oh, the man. corners Jazz if you Jack have to. Jackrabbit 2 bombed? I love Jazz Jackrabbit. I'm looking at this article here. Oh, shit. That's, I have no idea what that is. But, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. R uh, Robin, what are your final thoughts? Go buy Prey. Prey go, is great. Go buy Prey. I'm, I'm going to look up some videos oh, on wait, Prey one later more on. I can think of The Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, I heard that was a turd. Ooh. Oh, God, I have that one. And also, um, and also Fallout 76. We, but there's so many failed Bethesda launches, I don't think we could fit it. Oh, in oh yeah. Yeah, they don't count. That's their, that's a different episode on its own. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. We, in fact, you know, episode. in fact, tell you what, tell you what, I, I would love to talk about uh, just exclusively Bethesda uh, next week. Does anyone, is everyone down for that? I'm down. Yeah. All right. Right. I mean, I'll show up, but I don't know much about Bethesda. You ain't gotta know. Well, you ain't gotta know much about. Uh, I'm, I'm cutting this part out, by the way. Uh, you ain't gotta know much about Bethesda. Just uh, read up on like the the massive failures of Fallout 76, the Elder Scrolls, all the the millions of iterations of fucking Skyrim, and, and 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 that stuff. Like that. That way, you know, you can at least chime in with some factoid or go, "That's right, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah," uh, or something like that. You know what I mean? You can, Mo, I was going to say, you can ask anybody I've done a podcast with in the past. The, the, uh, telling me to do research is like telling a dog to speak. <laughs> speak. <laughs> oh, roar, 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 roar. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This was a lot of fun. Uh, this is a good episode, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. Uh, Riley, wh uh, what you got to hawk? All right, you can... You can subscribe to me on YouTube as Riley Brooks, R-I-E-L-Y space B-R-O-O-K-S. And because YouTube hates me, 
it will automatically autocorrect your search to the wrong spelling of Riley, which means you have to specifically click search instead for in order to find my channel. So when you're looking for my channel, that's what you have to do. Oh, that's Jesus. Where can, that's where you can find a majority of my podcast content with the exception of Pixels, Polygons, and Fun, a video game podcast, which I founded with my buddy, Jinji. I had quit the show, but hopefully I'll be back on it. I've been guesting on it for like the past three weeks. And this week is my final judgment of whether they're going to allow me to be a host again after I fucking left them. So we'll see what happens. You can find that on any, basically any podcast platform, Pixels, Polygons, and Fun. All right, uh, that's that's fucking cool. Good job, good good stuff on that, by the way, man. I hope you get your co, hope you get another co-host gig, man. That'll be fucking awesome. Uh, Robin, you got anything? Get my old co-host, Big Bat Gack, after I quit for stupid reasons. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we'll we'll have to talk about like all of our old failed projects and, and, and like jobs that we just like fucking oh, shit the a, bed or I anything. I had this old podcast called An Artsy If We Trust, and the story behind that is very interesting. It's all right, okay. I hear. All right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have that on a, probably like next week's episode or something, or the two weeks episodes or something like that. Uh, Robin, you got anything you want to hawk? Yeah, you can go, uh, find me on Twitter at Inside Alloy. Uh, same thing for Twitch. You can find my live streams at twitch.tv slash Inside Alloy. Nice, nice. Either you got anything for us? Um, well, I will reiterate what I said in the last podcast and say that Epstein did not kill himself and that I will live by that until the day I die. Fucking A, fucking A. And you can find me at twitch.tv slash modiggity at youtube.com uh, forward slash C forward slash modiggity42. And uh, you can find me at not modiggity42 at Twitter. And you can find me at modiggity42 on uh, Instagram and all that stuff. If you just come say hi to me, whatever you want, whatever you well, want. Wait, how is that your Twitter? If it's not, if it's not Mo Diggity, then how is it you? Because once upon a time, I said some a lot of naughty no no words to, uh, well, to the following: uh, 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 AOC, Hassan Piker, uh, uh, fucking. I think I yelled at uh, uh, Sarah Silverman a bunch. Because she was being ridiculous. I mean, to be fair, she what was being ridiculous. She seems cool. No, she is not cool. She's like anti-cool. <laughs> She's like if you give an She's idiot. She's a... League of Legends. Ugh, God, I hate League of Legends. Like, ain't she? Uh, anyway, you know what? No, 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 no. This is the end. Like, I cannot rant about <laughs> politics. I, I'm so thirsty and I want to smoke so bad. <laughs> this is kind of why we usually podcast. Get ready for it. Wear a nicotine patch while your your cat or on the mocast. Oh, dude, I, re I really need some nicotine. <laughs> uh, on uh, God's honest truth, I tried the gum and I tried the patch. The gum was fucking disgusting and it made me have a terrible headache every time. This sounds fucking disgusting. Oh, Oh, it, it, it fucking up. yeah! I'll, I'll talk about like maybe we'll do an addictions part two since we have new people listening to the podcast again. We'll do an an addictions part two episode. Oh man, was that uh, for uh, one day. Or was that the pre Riley era? I that was probably the pre Riley era, buddy. Uh, but yeah, does yeah. Nasal spray counts as an addiction. Does what? Nasal spray. Sure, whatever, whatever you just kept doing you know w without a reason to do, with me medical reason to do so yeah uh but yeah man god uh but yep yeah, like i said thanks for coming out i really appreciate it i'll see you guys next week uh happy thanksgiving if i forget to tell it to you and uh until then see you around ta ta <laughs>